Hello, my old school soul food family, Chef Jeffrey. Back with another video. Hold on just a second, y'all. Okay, y'all. I am back. Just got home from work again today. I'm doing a quick dinner tonight. I'm doing chicken fried ribeye. I'm not going to do no gravy. I'm just going to do a chicken fried ribeye, and I'm going to do some fried squash with it. And I'm going to take y'all along with me and show y'all exactly what I'm going to do. I already watched this squash. I'm going to slice it up right quick because I'm going to fry it later. I a bowl here. All I do to my squash, I cut the ends off like this. It's a nice squash I got from my Imperfect Food uh, haul, y'all. Remember that? So all I'm going to do, I have to cut my squash on the bias. And that's the only way I love squash, y'all. We grew up eating it fried. My mom used to fry squash like crazy. And that's how I grew up eating it. Okay. Let these hang out here a little bit. I'm going to salt and pepper it so it'll create a moisture on it. And put some salt and pepper on it. One second here. Season a little salt and pepper. That's gonna bring out the moisture and make it wet. And I'm gonna show you why later why I'm doing this also. So it can start getting wet and creating the moisture. So a little salt and pepper on there. Set that to the side. I got me a ribeye here. I already pounded one half of it. This is the other half. It was the whole ribeye. I cut the one half in there. I love the fat part. And I'm gonna pound the other half. All I do when I pound it. I get me a Ziploc bag here. Put it in a Ziploc bag. First I hit it just like this. Turn it over. Put it on the other side. Right now I'm hitting it with the side of the thing. And now I'm going to hit it with the ridges. Thin as I want it right there, y'all. Now I'm gonna season both sides of this steak. I'm gonna put salt and pepper and I'm gonna put some cabinets. That's all I'm putting on this. Got my salt and pepper. Like I said, y'all, when I come home from work, I pull these ribeyes out. Matter of fact, this morning if I left from work, so I knew what I was gonna have. A little salt and pepper. That's it. Ribeye seasoned up. Okay. Now, clean this board up here. Now, we're going to bread this ribeye off. We're going to get it frying off. I got some buttermilk. All I'm going to use, y'all, is buttermilk and flour. That's all I'm going to use, y'all. Buttermilk and flour. Let me get a little bag. Y'all know I put the flour in a bag. Let me grab a bag. Like I said, y'all, this is like I'm like I'm just coming home. I'm not, I didn't expect to do a video. I'm just doing a video just like I'm coming home and nobody's watching me. Filling my sink up, you know I cook with soapy water. I got my sink, I'm filling up over there, and I'm gonna get a double bag. I'm gonna put two bags in here because it might be busted there. Okay, move this over. See y'all, this ain't like a typical video. Usually I have everything all ready to go, and I'm just doing it just like I come home from work, y'all. Nothing scripted here. It's just like I'm kind of doing a live, but now when I do lives, I do have everything ready too. Okay, put my flour in here. I'm gonna use this flour for my steak and my and my squash. Put this back up. Ready? Okay. I got my skillet heating up over here. I'm gonna turn up just a little bit more. 
turn this light on. Turn this other light on here. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do dry, wet, dry. Meaning I'm gonna put it in the dry first. Hold on, I gotta get one for the buttermilk. A little bowl here for the buttermilk to go in. Yes, sir, y'all, I'm just using a little buttermilk. Okay. Put the steak in the dry here. Put this over. Y'all probably can't see it as well if I'm doing in a, if I was doing in a, you know, uh, put in the buttermilk. And back in the flour. Here. And into the oil. Let me see if my oil is hot enough. Oh, yeah. Into the oil. Let me do this in here. Dry, wet, dry, y'all. And I'm going to move you over to the, to the skin in just a second. Like I said, I ain't going to make no gravy for this, y'all. Gonna be just all chicken fried steak, and that's it. Okay, let me wash my hands off. Move you over here to the skillet. All righty. Now I got that done. It's a quick meal, y'all. This meal takes maybe maybe not even thirty minutes to cook. I need 30 minutes to cook, y'all. You know, ribeye, I kind of like my ribeye medium. So it definitely ain't going to take long to cook. You cook yours well done if you like it, but I like mine medium, y'all. Okay. Let's check the other one here. Quite ready, man. Turn the fire up. Okay. While we doing that, now I'm gonna bread my get my squash ready here. I'm gonna move this back over while that's cooking. And y'all can see both here. Okay, y'all can see it both. Okay, see that moisture that's coming out of the squash? That's what I want because I want to do flour. Uh Buttermilk and then flour. So I need something to stick to the flour. So when you put uh, salt, you can do the same thing with eggplant. If you put salt on it, it's gonna bring out the moisture. Of course, everybody should know that. You've been cooking a while. The salt brings out the moisture. That's right, when you salt cure something, it brings the moisture out of the meat. Okay, throw this in the flour. Into the buttermilk. More in there. Y'all see how the flour stuck to the squash, huh? Okay, let me turn my other one over here. Oh yeah. Looking good there, y'all. Looking good there. Okay, let me move this around in the buttermilk here. And we're gonna go back into the flour. Back into the flour and then into the plate there. Easy quick dinner, y'all. Easy quick dinner. Let me shake this up. Move this buttermilk out the way. I'm through with that. I'm through with this. Now we're just gonna put this on the plate here. And this meal is almost ready, y'all. Okay, let me shake that really, really good, y'all. Make sure you get all that flour on there. Flour on this squash. There we go. There we go. We don't get on there. We're gonna make sure it gets on there. Nothing like fried squash, y'all. Nothing better than fried squash. 
that's the wild we grew up on. Squash point, y'all. Okay. Okay. Let me turn the rib eye over. Get it ready to turn over this in here. Oh yeah. Let me check this one here. Oh yeah. See how pretty that is? Beautiful. Beautiful, y'all. I'm going take, like I said, I can do this before I even go upstairs. I know this, this meal don't take long at all to cook, y'all. And everybody's almost ready. Like I said, I like my ribeye about medium. This is almost where I want it. There we go. I'm going to put it over here on my rack here. Okay, all is still heating up. Take the same oil. We're gonna throw our squash in there. Same oil, y'all. See that? Same oil. There we go. Just like say we're cooking with fire, y'all. Cooking with fire. Okay. All right. You see my rib eye over here? I got a drain there. Like I say, this 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 video ain't gonna take long at all. And I'll be cleaning up over here. Like I say, y'all, I cook some kind of meal every day, y'all. Y'all know I clean as a ghost. When I'm finished cooking, I have no dishes to clean up, nothing. My kitchen is completely clean when I finish cooking. That's why I try to teach young people, when you cook and clean as you go, and when you finish eating your meal, all you gotta do is clean up your dirty, you know, the dishes that you, that you, uh, ate off of, that's it. You have no pots and pans and mixing bowls and all that to have to clean up. Okay, let's check our squash here. See what we got here. Now they ain't time yet to turn them. Any time to turn them. Yet. Any time to turn them. Like I say, y'all, it's good eating. Ribeye and fried squash, you can't get go, get no better than that. I will usually make a gravy for my chicken fried steak, but this, I'm just going to eat it like this. I'm putting, maybe put a little uh, steak sauce on it, but that's it. Nothing fancy. Quick and simple. Oh, yeah. There we go. Turn these over. Oh, yeah. A nice fried squash, y'all. Turn that one over. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all ever had fried squash before. Just like fried green tomatoes, y'all. Same thing. I love them. Absolutely love them. Only way to eat them. So anyway, I'm gonna step off here, finish this up. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna have my meal all plated up. Uh, and then we're gonna give it a taste test. So I will be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, we back. Look at that, dinner for two in less than 30 minutes, y'all. It took me less than 30 minutes to do this. Actually, it took me 20 minutes. That's how quick, that's why I'm stressing how easy it is. And then I got some, you know, the pasta I made in another video, I got some left. That's going to be my starch. So I got vegetable starch and protein all in less than 20 minutes. And I, I got two here because I got a little elderly neighbor. She, she's a lady that lives. She lives about a block from here. I'm going to box her one of these up and I'm going to run it to her. She lives two minutes from here so she can have supper tonight. 
So that's why I got two. I only did two. If not, I would just did one ribeye. So let's try this out, y'all. Let me put hers back over here. Okay, let's try this out here. Like I told y'all, I like mine medium. Another thing about the about the ribeye, about the chicken fried steak, see how the bread and stay on? Mmm. All right, some tender squash here. Nothing like fried squash, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's all I need. Mmm. Oh, wow. Do what I need. I need a little bit of salt on here. Just a little salt on them. I mean, I seasoned before, but I ain't seasoned them now. A little bit more salt on my squad. That's it. Another video down in the books. Very easy. Like I say, y'all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some, uh, this is actually well done. Look at that. I'm gonna close up. You got. Look at that. That's the easy meal, y'all. Ain't no traditional meal. Well, you've seen chicken fried, ribeye, and fried squash. <laughs> Only on this channel, y'all, you'll see this. But anyway, I'm just trying to show you how quick it is to do a meal at home. Well, I have to go out. I always keep ribeyes in my freezer, of course. Pull one out, get home. That squash come from my imperfect food haul. They gave me one squash. I knew what I was going to do with it when I saw it. I thought, I'm going to fry that. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please comment. Please visit my other social media account and subscribe to them. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. <coughs> Got choked up on this squash. Uh... Until next time, thanks for joining me this week. Like I say, I'm trying to get a lot of videos during the week. So this weekend I'll be out of town. Previous engagements, I'm trying to give you all some content to get you through the weekend. Because there will be no videos Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There will be no videos uploaded. I might do a video Monday to show y'all my trip with my mom as I go through the country back in the church. I think I'll do a... If y'all want to see that, let me know. I'll do a blog on that. The trip we go to the church and how the church is and me riding with her and all that. I'll do a blog on that if y'all want to see that. Let me know in the comments. I always like doing videos with my mom. That's precious memory. So anyway, until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.